what is up welcome back to my channel today is going to be a vlog as you can tell by my voice the usual just woke up however it's not early it's basically noon <laughs> and um, yesterday was Friday I went out with my co-workers to dinner and it was really fun but also really sad because my one manager is leaving and she literally like taught me so much so gonna miss her a lot um, but after the dinner we ended up going to one of my co-workers houses and just like dance we played just dance it was really fun I'll put a little like video here for you guys to see but I don't know they're just really great girls and guys too at the dinner like I love my work so much I love the little community it's great so anyway that was my night but because of last night I'm slightly hungover because I had some drinks I didn't drive my friend drove so yeah a little hungover I have a little bit of a headache and I did just order some McDonald's so I'm guilty of that sometimes I know everyone is so that's what I just did I got like I got a McDouble I got a junior chicken and oh like a sausage egg McMuffin so that's what I got waiting on my food <laughs> and we have a lot to do in this vlog I'm really excited today's Saturday now so we got to do a bunch of errands maybe go to the gym and if we don't go to the gym today it's gonna be tomorrow but this is a weekend vlog so should be fine also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me join the fam subscribe it's really fun here at least in my opinion it's pretty fun but um, yeah this is a really long clip so we got a lot of errands to do we're gonna return some Gymshark get some groceries go to the mall get some new toothpaste and hand sanitizer all that good stuff so see you when I go all right guys so I'm about to head out but I wanted to show you what I'm wearing so just this plain black tank top I'm wearing my favorite bra it's like you probably can't even see it but it's Calvin Klein and then I just got these pants in the mail from lululemon they're like oh I wish I knew the name I forget but they are so comfy they have pockets they're the softest things I've ever had on my body they make the butt look so good like wow they're so comfortable and I just love that they literally look like pajama pants but I can wear them in public so yeah I'm gonna be heading to probably the post office first to drop off the stuff and then go to the mall and then get groceries so we're gonna do that not sure how I'm feeling yet about the gym I might go like tonight if I don't I'm gonna go tomorrow morning so that's the plan but yeah we're gonna head out and I'll see you guys later zebra skirt so cute oh my god so cute I feel like this is something Bianca would bring to the wear and this is the version I would wear love that alright guys so I am not buying any of these by any means but I wanted to try on this dress because look how cute that is. It's like all ruched and then at the bottom there's frills. Like that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I'm going to try that on. And I'm also just going to try on this plain like comfy yeah. bra. So. Alright. So the bra fits pretty well. It's a little booby. But it does fit. Oh my god look at my food baby. Wow I actually look pregnant when yeah. I do that. Anyway. Cute. It is sixty percent off, so I might get it. We'll see. I want to get some bras from Lululemon, so I don't know. Pretty good. Okay, so typically I don't go for this style because I mean I just have a lot of curves, which is not a bad thing. But I actually think this is really cute. On, so cute. It's not too short with my butt or anything. I really like this. Hmm. That's a pretty good. But it's good to know what I like on me. I'm not gonna get it, but it's really cute. All right, guys, I just got, I feel like my phone's gonna start playing music any second now, but 
I just got into the car from the mall, got what I needed, also got something I didn't realize I needed, but I needed. <laughs> so I picked up, I wanna show you. I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys. I'm just grabbing the two things that I picked up at Bath and Body Works. So, hello there. So I went to Bath and Body Works and I went to Lush and I grabbed some stuff at both places. I also went to a few shopping places because I honestly have not shopped at like a fast fashion mall in so long. Didn't buy any clothes or anything because I cannot justify it when I work at a place that I can get like super nice things for like $4. But it was just like fun to try it on. You guys saw those clips. I liked that dress a lot from American Eagle. Um, so now I like know what looks good on me at least. And I'm just, I don't know. I was happy I did that. I've, I'm on my own right now. It's three o'clock and like just enjoying life, enjoying the day off. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it was interesting. It was also really weird to see like the trends that are going on right now. Cause I'm not really updated on that. I literally dressed like a hobo apparently compared to people so love that but yeah so I picked up two hand sanitizers for work because I ran out and I just like having it on me since I work at a thrift shop everything's used dirty there's people walking through all the time and like I just needed some hand sanitizers so we picked up the cucumber melon and I also picked up this one that I've never tried before it's the love I think it's rose and vanilla yeah rose and vanilla with essential oils this is the, one of the aromatherapy ones and then just the normal one but I picked up two for now I bet you one of these I think lasts me like maybe a month maybe like three weeks so I'm gonna be back here soon to pick more up but that's what I got from Bath and Body Works honestly like spent four dollars like not a lot and then from Lush I picked up my toothy tabs because that was what I initially wanted to go there for so I picked up the I picked up the dirty toothy tabs from Lush. I had the Smiles for Miles before, so I just wanted to switch it up and get another one. This one here is loaded with spearmint and neroli oils for a superbly herbal clean. So I got that. That was like $15 or something. And then I realized I ran out of conditioner and the conditioner I was using was like the Argan oil from I forget what it was called, like Organic X or something like that. And it was good. But I just wanted to try something from Lush. I've never tried one of their conditioners. I have a shampoo bar from them, which I love. So I figured, why not? And I asked her what would be really good for dry curly hair. And she recommended this. So like, I wanted to get a bar, but she recommended me this, like hardcore. So this is what it is. It's Candy Rain. I trusted her because she also had curly hair and she said her hair was dry, but like, I don't know her. <laughs> But I, I trust your judgment. So it says, shower locks in sweet tonka scented softness with glossy macadamia and Brazil nut oils. Um, it smells actually like cake batter. Like it smells so freaking good. It's closed so I can't unfortunately let you guys know. But in the store, it smelled amazing. And I don't really use a lot of conditioner. Like I don't really condition my hair in the shower every single time because I have leave-in conditioner too. So. I think this will last me a while. I'm really excited. This was $20, keep that in mind though, like it's not that big. So, I don't know, might not be worth it, we'll see. But I'm excited to try it out. And that was my little Lush haul, if you were wondering. So, I spent a good 50, maybe $50 at the mall, including my drink, so not that bad. And then I'm hoping I'm only gonna spend around $50 at the grocery store, which we are headed to now. And yeah, I'll catch you guys there, so. Let's do this. Also, if you're wondering, I got a iced matcha latte. I'll just put it here. So I got an iced matcha latte. I substituted the like cane sugar for sugar-free vanilla and then used soy milk instead of cream or milk. And it's so good. Mm. It's just so refreshing. And then you add the cinnamon on whew, to die for. So yeah, that's what I'm drinking. And we're gonna hit the grocery store now. All right guys, I am home now. I'm like a sweaty mess because I just carried in a bunch of groceries and it's actually not cold out. Like it's like two degrees, which sounds cold, but I don't know. It just wasn't with what I was wearing. I was wearing like two fleece like sweater things. So I'm warm, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys what I got from the grocery store. So disclaimer here, I know that 
a lot of the time on this channel I discuss healthy living, being like a fit queen, like all that jazz, but as of lately I've been kind of on a little budget for spending and I know that it's super easy to be healthy on a budget, but just with everything that's going on, like being healthy isn't always like a quick thing, like you have to cook everything a lot and all this stuff, so I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there, this is not the healthiest haul. There definitely is like some healthy things, but yeah, I just picked up a few unhealthy things because they make me happy and as of right now, I'm happy with where I'm at, so I did it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to show you everything I got. I figured I would switch it up and, you know, sit here instead. So first off, what do I show? I'll show you the heaviest thing that I got. Um, this is always a treat I like to have at the end of the day. It's just um, Coke Zero. Not Diet Coke. No, no. We don't like Diet Coke in this household. Coke Zero is where it's at. I also picked up Isaac a ginger ale, but that's besides the point. He didn't even want it. I was just like, you know what? I know he's going to drink it, so picked it up. I also got us some eggs. It's a classic thing you need in your house. And bread. This one is Dumpster's Ancient Grains with Quinoa Bread. I really like this one. Uh, the macros are pretty good. 3 grams fat. What is it? 3 grams fat, 34 grams carbs. Four of those are fiber. Uh, 3 grams sugar and 8 grams protein. So I do really like this bread. I also picked up, Isaac and I have been alternating who buys this and it was my turn. So I picked up some chicken fries. I know, I said not healthy guys, but we've just been on like a chicken fry kick. We put it in our air fryer. So good. So picked up that. I also ran out of my classic oat milk. So we got Earth's own So Fresh oat milk in unsweetened original love this stuff i put it in my coffee and in my smoothie bowls so it's definitely something needed for me uh going on to something a bit healthier i picked up extra fine whole green beans i like to put this just as a side for like my dinners and lunches so picked up that and then also i've been getting ground turkey a lot lately but instead we picked up the classic chicken so i just got one of these uh, this was $11. I picked up the one that had the most weight. That's like a huge tip. All of them are $11 at Walmart at least for me. But make sure you're looking at how much it weighs. Next up we got a little easy meal, which I'm kind of embarrassed to show, but we're going to show it anyway. Um, I got pizza pops. I love the pepperoni ones. Um, Isaac likes the pepperoni bacon ones. But yeah, just picked up that. They're just really easy to like put two in the microwave and like call it a day. I know it's bad, but I like it. <laughs> and then I also picked up some natural peanut butter crunchy. I love, love, love this either on bread or on top of my smoothie bowls. So I picked that up and then I got this for Isaac and I. If I wake up early in the morning, but like I'm running a little late, I like to just have toast with Nutella. And I know that he also loves Nutella. So I just got chocolate hazelnut spread it's like the walmart version um i picked up one green pepper which is in here and the green pepper is going to go in my lunches which is going to be uh penne pasta with this sauce so i just decided to try it it is catelli garden select garlic and onion so that's what it looks like and the macros also aren't bad on this it's 45 calories one gram fat, nine grams carbs, two of those being fiber, and six of those being sugar. So it's not that bad, plus it's like seasoned for me, so I don't have to add garlic and onion to it. Pick that up. Uh, we're almost done. The last three things are the, literally the least healthiest of this entire haul, so great. Um, I picked up two, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. This is so like not how I usually am, but anyway. So I got mint Oreos. You know, we're feeling festive with St. Patrick's Day coming up, so pick that up. And then just like a normal pack of Oreos too. I just like having like three or four of them at the end of the day, I don't know. It's just a treat for me, so I got that. And then for this weekend, because I'm alone and Isaac left me to go visit his friends at home, I picked up this layered peanut butter brownie bar like recipe by Betty Crocker. So 
I think I'm gonna make these tonight and I'll have just a little sweet snack for tonight and tomorrow night. So that is everything I got from the grocery store. Isaac, or oh my God, not Isaac. Felix is super curious right now. He's literally like, what you doing? Like Bubba. What's going on? Say hi. So yeah, that's everything. It's all on the ground now. I have to just put it away. But I would say we're pretty, we're feeling pretty successful. Hey guys, so I look like a literal hot mess. I just finished washing my face, putting some cream on, except for my nose. Got this little thing going on. But yeah, I haven't really been vlogging that much after the grocery haul today because literally all I've been doing is editing and watching Love is Blind on Netflix. I think from a scientist perspective, it is a very interesting show. Would never do it, but I think it's super interesting and entertaining and kind of cute and cheesy. So yeah, I've been watching it. It's pretty good. Um, I don't know how far along. I think I'm probably like more than halfway now, but who knows? Either way, super good. I don't know if you guys watch the show, but if you do, comment down below your favorite couple. For me, my favorite couple is Lauren and Cameron, but my favorite couple that has like drama to watch would probably be Gigi and Damien. I just think that they're so awkward together and she's just like hilarious, but yeah, that's all I've been really doing. It's like 11 p.m. now, so I'm going to take this off in a minute and then head to bed, but I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is currently like 10-ish, 10.30. Wow, that was a good stretch. I just finished eating breakfast, I did the dishes, and now I'm just drinking my coffee and we're watching Love is Blind, baby. After this episode though, I am gonna go to the gym. Hello guys, I am completely naked, so not showing anything here, but I just got back from the gym, I'm about to hop in the shower, and I am going to be trying the new conditioner, so I'll let you guys know how I like it. Alright guys, just got out of the shower. I think what I'm going to do is just start my meal prep by cooking my chicken, so that's what we're going to do. All right guys, so I know that this lighting is very blue because I just turned on the PS4, but I just wanted to say, I really like that conditioner. My hair smells so good. It smells like, I don't even know. It just smells sweet, kind of like candy. And I don't know, I also put R&B by Lush in my hair, so it's gonna come out like extra moistured, but I do really like it um, for the price. Like we'll see how far along it goes, like how long it lasts. Because I think if that could last me like a month or more, I think it would be worth it. So we'll see, but I do really like it. I like the way my hair smells and I like the way it looks actually. It looks different coming out of my towel, which might be a good thing. It just feels like wavier. I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, I just put food in the microwave and I'm about to watch Love is Blind again. Um, I don't even know how far along I am. I think that I'm like, I think it's almost done because I think there's only a week until their weddings. So that's sad. I literally binged it the entire weekend, but I enjoyed it a lot, so. All right guys, I just finished editing my video about the energy and the vital shorts. So I still have all the eggs on, don't mind that. But as you can see, they're all size medium. Yeah, so I finished that and I also did my nails. Yeah, so these are my nails. They look kind of rough because there's like a little bit on the outside, but they're really, really beautiful, like 
baby pink ivory color. I don't even know how to describe it. But yeah, did those. They're really nice. And my potatoes just finished. So we can go get those right now. Let's see how they're doing. Isaac should be home really soon, so I made enough for both of us. They look pretty dang good. I'd say they're almost done. But yeah, I just put a sweater on. I got really cold. I finished Love is Blind, and I'm watching the like reunion now. So it's almost done. Oh, it's almost done. I really want to try and get Isaac to watch it because one, it's just an interesting show. He's also kind of science-y and, you know, get the idea of marriage in his head a little bit. So, just kidding, obviously. Um, he already knows that I want to marry him one day and I'm not like in any rush because I have all my debts and all of my things I need to worry about before starting that step in my life. But I feel like I want to end off the video here because honestly, I'm not going to be doing much else today. I already did my laundry and I think this video is just going to be long enough. So, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was pretty productive, I would say. I did a lot. I got a lot done. Plus, I got to relax. I had my alone time. It was just a good weekend. And I hope you guys enjoyed joining me on it. So give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more vlogs, more lifestyle, more, you know, of the Gymshark or any other type of activewear review. I actually really love doing them. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.